In this video, we're going to look at Montrezl Harrell's ridiculous efficiency as the role man this season. It's a side out of bounds with Lou Williams as the inbounder. Eventually, Williams is going to get the ball at the top, and Montrezl Harrell is going to run up to set a screen. Harrell makes great contact on the screen, thus allowing Lou Williams to get downhill into the teeth of the defense. Williams then goes to snake the pick and roll, which means cutting back across the roll man. This draws Rudy Gobert towards the ball handler. Williams then throws the threat of a shot towards Gobert with a slight pump fake, but this is meant to be a pass, and it goes to Montrezl Harrell, who makes a very athletic play to catch the ball behind him, and then goes up for the finish. Lou Williams speeds into the front court, and he ends up getting a screen from Montrezl Harrell that's going to free up Jermichael Green to run up and set another screen on Williams' man at the point. Jermichael Green comes up, and there's the screen. He makes great contact, which then forces the defender into trail position. And as Lou Williams comes down towards Montrezl Harrell, Harrell rightly slips the next screen because he sees the defenders too far apart to stop him. Williams then threads the needle with a bounce pass, and Harrell gathers with zero capable rim defender there to deter him, and he dunks. Lou Williams races into the front court with the trailing defender. Montrezl Harrell then sets a screen at the elbow. This screen will allow Lou Williams to get the middle of the floor, which is where the defense does not want him to get. Nikola Jokic plays this the wrong way and has his hips flipped in the absolute wrong direction, thus allowing Montrezl Harrell to catch the pass. Harrell then goes to a little pump fake. This pump fake gets the 7-foot Jokic to leave his feet, and Harrell has a dunk. This is the craftiest of all the plays we'll see. Paul George dribbles into the front court. Montrezl Harrell sets a high screen that will allow Paul George to get to the middle against the dropping big, which is Al Horford. As Harrell rolls, George continues to dribble at Horford, which puts him in no man's land and allows Harrell to run right by him. George then passes. The pass is slightly behind Harrell, but his great hands allow him to grab it at full steam. By the time Al Horford reacts, Harrell's already around him and is free to lay the ball up and in on another athletic finish.